Atmospheric rivers are global-scale moisture transport systems that drive the majority of moisture redistribution from the tropics to higher latitudes. These systems of transport are highly important in connection with the replenishment of water resources in many areas around the world. However, they are also influenced by climate change. Extreme weather events such as severe flooding and high winds are now found to be associated with atmospheric rivers. Postdoctoral fellow Ashley Payne has developed a series of animations that have enabled her to understand what creates an intense atmospheric river before its impact, with the goal of better representing them in climate models so that water resource managers can be better prepared for these events. They're such fluid features, and that's what made studying them so difficult to start with. Uh, how do you pin down um, the climatological behavior is something that's constantly moving around. You know, no one had really tried to look at the large-scale features of these atmospheric rivers before. By looking at these animations, you can kind of start to make sense of this fluid behavior. My research uh, covered the period of um, 1979 to present, uh, basically looking at the relationship of atmospheric rivers to large-scale um, patterns of variability and seeing how that impacted their behavior along the coastline. With climate change, these atmospheric rivers may become more variable where they're making impacts. What this could mean is a less reliable source of precipitation, particularly for Southern California, you know, you have a very large population in an area that, you know, is pretty much a desert. If you have a year with very few atmospheric rivers, it's really gonna impact the region. Versus if you have a year with a lot of atmospheric rivers, water resource managers are really gonna have to understand, okay, you know, we know this big atmospheric river is coming. By looking at the large scale features associated with these two uh, characteristics, you know, it can inform these water managers or meteorologists or regional model developers to kind of look for certain features uh, when they're making their forecasts.